are there still things that trigger you or th- still things that are remnants from your time away that you you have to oh i still have nightmares about being in prison uh, uh i don't know if they'll ever go away you know um some I, nights you wake up and you still jail. think you're there i'm in jail you know not not wake up and in jail but sleep and i'm in jail you know it's, they're, they're like dreams um it, it's like I've i've had dreams where i totally lost control of myself you know and I find myself doing a drug deal. I'm in the middle of this big drug deal. It's my last one. And all the fellas are there. And we we doing everything. And then all of a sudden we hear the spam at the door. And it's the, the FBI kicking the door in. And, and I'm like, oh, man, I'm on my way back to prison. And then I get back to prison. And all the guys are like, oh, we've been waiting on you to get here. What took you so long? Uh, and, and you're in a cold sweat, you know. And uh, it's just crazy. Uh, but I'm... I'm, I'm gradually starting to 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 not have them as much as i used to i used to have those like two times a week mm. uh, when i first got home uh but now they're, they're not as bad as they they used to and and i've learned too now that when they start to to wake myself up yeah you know just wake up out of it because uh sometimes they be so real you know it's like uh you walking down the hallway because I, I know what the hallways look like you were there 20 years <laughs> yeah so I'm, I'm walking down the hallways and uh, all the guys are greeting you like, oh, man, here, here's a care package and here's a toothbrush, here's some toothpaste. Man, we glad to see Back you, man. Right there. What is what is it like out on the street? You know, and it's like, wow, do I even want to talk about it? You know, I, I just left my two babies. You know, what are my babies going to do now? You right. know, who's going to teach them tennis? Who's going to make sure that they're able to get their lessons? Who's going to get them to the tennis court? Uh, who's going to get them to school on time? And, and it's... it's, it's I don't know. It's, it's crazy. Nah, I mean, you. We we talked about it last time. You spent your formative years, and yeah. you were sentenced to life. Life so without you're the possibility. To be there forever. Right now, I'm supposed to be in prison. And you're not, because you not. you fought for yourself. I had you learned to. some things. I had to. Yes. I had to totally re uh, redo my thinking. You know, I went from being totally illiterate to uh, had to teach myself my alphabet all over again. You know, uh, one of the things I found out is that I had never been taught the technique of reading. You know, w- without proper technique, it's hard for us to to do anything, really. You know, could you imagine uh, a Fulton going in the, the boxing ring? And he might be a great athlete, you know, great natural talent, but never with any formal coaching of how to hold your hands and how to move your head and how to bob. Um, it'd be hard for you to win. Yeah. And a lot of times that's the situation with us uh, in, in these ghettos is that we've never had anybody to formally instruct us on how we should be uh, functioning in society. And reading's foundational. Oh, my goodness. Reading is foundational. And, oh, my goodness. And to not be able to read is also embarrassing. So it's something oh, that, yes. yeah. You know, I would rather, when, when I was coming up and the teacher would ask me to read, I would rather get swats. So I would do something stupid in class to get a swat. What's a swat? <laughs> they don't do that in school anymore. Okay. <laughs> oh, they would hit you? Oh, they had a paddle. Oh. Well, my teachers had, they had like this paddle. You know, you know the thing that the, 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 the barbers used to use, that leather strap? Yes. Oh, they had that leather strap. And they put you would leather. rather get beaten with a leather strap. Absolutely. Because you, you figure that that strap is only, it's going to hit you. It's going to last, what, three, four minutes. But the embarrassment and the shame of not being able to read. And the other kids. You know, other kids yeah. can be ruthless. Horrible. So um, I, I understand now what I was going through, why I was so embarrassed to tell people that I couldn't read and, and I would rather hide it than, than to expose it to, um, to the world. Did you teach yourself how to, how, what was the path to, to learn? Cause there, there may be people right now listening who may have somebody in their well, life. Well, my celly, I, I, my celly takes a, a lot of the credit. He's the one that made my cue cards. He made me some cue cards with my ABCs on them. And he said, take these cue cards. And he, he did the A and he started, showing me the sounds because I didn't really so he un- took you back to the actual basics. Yeah. He took me to the sounds. Uh, once I started doing the sounds, I found out that they had a, a program in the library called, uh, um, hooked on phonics. And yes. he taught me the sounds. And then when I got hooked on phonics, I really started to just listen to the sounds. And, um, a couple of weeks I was reading the newspaper. And I went for new, reading the newspaper to reading the law books. Too. And that was all she wrote. That was all she wrote. <laughs>